today we are making deer jerky. My son Archie shot his first buck this year, as did Benny, got his second buck, he's 13, and uh, I got mine, so we got lots of deer meat, and uh, we have been making jerky. Now, I got two batches that I've done up here, marinating, I've had them marinating for three days, and uh, one, this is, uh, one is spicy, one is not spicy. Now, if you're interested in knowing what's in them, I stole this recipe from The Meat Eater by Stephen Ranella, page 62. And I'll tell you real quick what was in them. Um, now, this is for three pounds of deer meat, all right? Uh, one cup of soy sauce, half a cup of pineapple juice, half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter cup of uh, packed brown sugar, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of red chili flakes, uh, two tablespoons of coarsely ground black pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder, three cloves of garlic peeled, and one piece of fresh ginger. Now, I made that according to the recipe and it was some pretty good uh, jerky, but I wanted to tweak this recipe a little bit, do it a little bit differently. And so I made two more batches, but this time I added a full cup of brown sugar instead of a quarter of a cup. I just wanted it to be a little bit sweeter. And uh, I also put uh, a little extra honey instead of what did it say here for honey? Um, it says two tablespoons of honey. I actually put eight tablespoons of honey this time. And uh, also I did two batches, one with the chili peppers and the coarse ground pepper. One, I left the, pep the, the chili peppers out and uh, not nearly as much pepper. So one for the kids, one for the adults, and uh, I want to try this out. Now, personally, I marinated these for three days. These have both been uh, marinating, soaking in the marinade for three days. Uh, I, I, they, they say 24 hours. I just think the more the merrier. I wanted that sauce to get in there. One thing I preach about a lot is the importance of marinating. In fact, if you haven't found it yet, I have an app that I created uh, it's totally free for you. It cost me a fortune. But uh, if you go onto the App Store, if you have an iPhone, the App Store, there's a, uh, an app called the Marinade Bible Meditation app. And it's a place where you can put all your favorite scriptures and uh, you can organize them into different files we call marinades. And then you can go and meditate on the Word of God. It's a great place to keep all your favorite scriptures. So I've got like my faith marinade where I keep all my faith scriptures. I got my my baptism marinade, where I keep all my baptism scriptures, my kingdom marinade, and I got my marinade called life verses, just all my favorite key life verses. Uh, each of my kids, I have marinades for all of them. And so it's just a place where you can organize all of your scriptures, your favorite scriptures, and then come daily and meditate on the word of God. I'll tell you something, if you want to taste like Jesus, the most important thing you can do in your life is not get to church once or twice a month, but is to marinate your mind and your heart in the Word of God every single day. Just like this meat. You know, some people don't like deer meat. They say, well, it tastes too gamey. It's too this or too that. But I'll tell you something. When you soak this meat for three days in soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, sugar and honey and, 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 and chili peppers and all of these things, you soak these things, you go to eat it later, I want to tell you something, it doesn't taste like gamey nothing. This is the most delicious thing on earth. You may feel like in your life right now, you don't taste all that good. You get around people and you just don't taste good. People resist you. They're repelled by you. I want to tell you something. You want to taste better? Start marinating your mind and your heart in the Word of God every single day and you will begin to taste like Jesus Christ. I'll tell you something. That's one of the most important messages I could ever preach. I had a young person write to me today, an email. 
just saying, how do I experience more of God? How do I? It's just marinate, marinate, marinate. Meditate on God's word every day. Fill yourself with the word of God. And the presence of God will fill your life. And the flavor of God will fill your life. So, we have been marinating this jerky for three days. And now I am going to smoke it. Sometimes you need a little bit of heat uh, in your life to bring out the, 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 the best in you. And so I'm going to smoke these, uh, the, this meat for four hours on my smoker. And then we'll have a little taste. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marinade. I'm going to put it, dump it all out into my strainer. All right. And there you can see I was able to get all six pounds. I had three pounds in each bag. I was able to get all six pounds onto my three Traeger trays. And now we are going to go and throw them in the smoker. All right, so we've got all our deer meat. We've got it set at 165. I'm gonna leave it at 165 for two hours. Then I'm gonna turn it up to 180, maybe 185. And then about one hour after that, I'm gonna try it out. Because last time I did four hours, it was just a little bit drier than I like. So I might try a three hour, three and a half hour smoke. I'll test it after three hours and uh, see how it is. Well, the jerky is done and let's have a peek. Looking pretty nice. We are now at the three and a half hour mark. I am going to turn my smoker off and we'll take it inside for a taste. All right, now I have a confession to make. This is not the meat you saw me put into the smoker. I checked it out at the three hour mark. It was still super, super juicy. I thought a little longer, a little longer. I waited till four hours and then it was like shoe leather, so it was too dry. I think the mistake was I shouldn't have turned it up at the two hour mark. Anyways, I did another batch. I did three hours, three and a half, but I still turned it up. This is now another batch. And uh, I have now done it at 165 for three and a half hours, exactly. And I did not turn the temperature up at the halfway mark. And I'm finally seeing what I was looking for, which is, you can zoom in on this, nice jerky that is still got lots of juice inside of it, but it's easy to pull apart, but it, it's still jerky. It's still, wow. Can I try some? Really good jerky. Here, Ben. What do you think of that? Mm, that's the Dr. Pepper? And we changed the recipe. We've been trying some different recipes. I'll throw those at you in the future. But uh, yeah, we tried a little Dr. Pepper on this. All the recipes were good. I tried a maple recipe. I tried the one that I told you about at the beginning. This is Dr. Pepper. This is pretty decent too. Mm -hmm. But uh, playing around with some different flavors. But definitely 165 for three and a half hours. A super smoke on the Traeger. This was the way to go. This is some good jerky. Try it out. <laughs>